Kroria Honori Hararuya ki ai hoa ngā mano matua tama oero tapu ane he rapungai te maanga he tau tuka mai ai nea ki nea ai. Kia ora tātou, Marama Tangana Minute, Day 96. So I find out we are four days away from the big celebration of the 8th of November. A lot of us are definitely, hopefully would have got our last bits and pieces for our shopping done and packing our bags and getting all of those little bits and pieces sorted. But um, we're here, we've just finished Whakamoimiti at Kauhapai Te Rama in Manurewa and we're blessed to have our Pōtoro Takiwa here who, was, uh, who shared a, a, a koho today. And so uh, we're just taking the opportunity to have a kōru with our Pōtoro um, about some of the unfinished legacy of the unfinished mahi of Taupotiki with Muratana. Uh, but before we get into that, I'll just let um, Uncle Kelly just give a brief introduction to himself and then we'll go straight into the corridor. I, uh, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the mahi of Taupotiki with Muratana. I'm going to talk to you about the mahi of Taupotiki with Muratana. Uh, ki te Facebook nei, mō ngā mahi a Rani, uh, tino rawe, i te tema tangatai ati ki tēnei rā. Um, lovely job, Rani, been watching you mm. for 95 odd episodes now, and you've done a wonderful job. Uh, no, so uh, mi a te kia koutou e te whanau. Uh, so, um, yeah, our pōtoro takiwa here, and we really wanted to get some of your whakaro in terms of what were some of the mahi that was incomplete by Rata, and we know that on the 28th, uh, 1928, Ratana said, Koti ngā mahi o te aripa. But never did he actually get to the point where he was able to say, Koti ngā mahi o te omika. So we really want to get into a bit of that kōrero so we know what's the plan on the 9th of November, the 10th of November, and every day to go after that. Kia ora. Ai, uh, <coughs> ai, ka mii ki au koutou e te whānau, uh, e hikoi ati ki tēnei pā, kei te whakanui te waru o noima i tēnei tau. Uh, We've arrived at the 100th uh, centenary of the coming of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and so there is one clear prophecy that the dad gave and it will allude to why he didn't complete his work uh, of the second well of the mahi of the Ture Tangata of Te uh, He said that he would leave that for a new generation and he said that we would have to wait. In fact, he gave a, a, a strict instruction to all of his senior apotoros of the time. He gathered them all in the temple and he said to them all, what I have told you fellas, uh, wrap it up in your fellas' hearts. When people ask you questions, don't tell them. They must wait for the hundredth centenary and the Holy Spirit will reveal it to a new generation. So this 8th of November is not just another day. Uh, it's not just a celebration of a special uh, event, but it marks... Uh, a prophetic utterance of our founder to say that on the 100th centenary of our movement, young people will rise up. People who never saw him, people who never witnessed miracles, uh, never heard him preach, but they will be the ones who will carry the Marama Tanga into a new future, uh, into a new uh, time. So the Mahi of Te Omeka was actually closed up in 1932, and he himself wanted a commoner to done up. So that would release him from the work of Piriwiri Tua also. And he wanted to um, <clears throat> basically withdraw from his political activities because he believed that the people had let him down. Uh, he said to them that in one year I will resolve all of your treaty settlements. Now imagine that people, in 12 months, all of our treaty settlements would have been resolved if we had listened in 1928. But, well, that was back then. <clears throat> and so you can appreciate that he has now said, all you are people, s sit aside. Carry this maramata. Be light bearers. But it is no longer for you. It is for future generation. So, um, Rani, I know you only got a minute. Yeah, I... And, and I, I can't tell you in a minute some of the futuristic prophecies, but I can at least leave some of these with you. There are some members coming from Japan. They actually leave Japan today. And they will arrive uh, at Ratner on the 7th of November. Now, uh, the Japanese people or the Asian people play a major role in our maramatanga. They are actually called the other Morihu. So don't let the Maori people think that they're the only Morihu on the face of the earth. There's actually another group of people that the dad allowed them 
to be called Morahe too. And he did it in such a way that when the temple was opened, it wasn't opened by a Māori, and it wasn't opened by a member of Ratna's family, it was opened by a Japanese bishop. So I think that uh, the Japanese delegation that's coming and the Chinese delegation that'll be at Ratna, uh, if you get to talk to them or you meet them, uh, they hold a certain part of the future. The other part is the American Indians. Uh, there's a place called the Pine Ridge Reservation. It straddles America and Canada. <clears throat> Some of the whanau will know about the first Piriwiri tour dying uh, in Canada and being laid to rest on a special mountain just out of Calgary. Well, uh, his body was laid to rest there and they left the, he asked for one of his uh, guardian angels to be left there over this young child. But there will come a day when that child will raise and the angels will bring that child's spirit back to Aotearoa. And he specifically says a new generation will go to bring that spirit back. See, so say, I mean, you know, in America. Uh, and if, if I even go, just one more, I know I've gone over <laughs> my minute, but just one more would be New York City. In New York City, the dad went there in 1925 and he laid the foundations for a place where you now have the United Nations. In the old days, it was called uh, the League of Nations. But the Holy Spirit said to the dad, you will give it a new name, you shall call it Te Kotahitanga o Ngā Iwi o te, uh, o te Ao, the United Nations. See, say, we gave the United Nations its name. The soil where they built the new buildings, the dad blessed them. And the, our, our uh, Te Pene o Te Māra actually stood on that site and consecrated that land. So, Rani, I dare say that there will be a trip to the United Nations. You will hear that all are married and been running backwards and forwards to the United Nations and nothing has happened yet because you've got to wait for the 100th centenary and that hasn't happened yet. We're just four days away. Let the 100th centenary happen and you watch what happens to a new generation that goes to the United Nations with the backing of the Japanese in Asia. It'll be an interesting future. So I could take up a good 20 minutes on futuristic prophecies about Kingi Tanga and about... New Zealand Parliament and Jacinda and, and what she's about to achieve in the next few years, Fano, but well, Rani's only given me a minute and I've already gone over it. So yeah. you fellas all travel safely to the power and we'll see you down there. My my to took All right, kia ora, Uncle. Um, and while we're there, talking about this new generation, what's one piece of advice that you would give this new generation going into the next hundred years? Oh, well, I... Uh, I just did a uh, koho to our whanau at Kaihapa i Tarama Pariha today and I basically said to them, don't go down to the past seeking things or wanting things. If, if, you, if you understand how the Holy Spirit came, Ratna wasn't looking for the blessing. He wasn't. The blessing chose him. Mm. The new generation, don't go looking for a blessing, don't go looking for something. You are the right generation. Yeah. Uh, you only have to believe that. Uh, a hundred years has come. You know that your elders struggle to carry this maramatanga this far. You know that they're all now waiting for that next generation to pass it over to you. You are all there. You're ready. You know God is the secret. Mm. But what you have to do now is you have to do what our elders didn't quite believe. The dad said to them, we give you the power to heal, the power to prophesy, the power to stomp on demons, the power to... Uh, you know, uh, uh, to, to unify the world. A lot of our elders were too scared to do that. Mm. Your generation shouldn't fear. Oh, they should no. do everything that the Maori promised that he would give to you. He gave you all nine gifts of the Spirit. Only one he denied you. The power to take life, to destroy life, to kill. Well, use all the other ones you have. Mm. You know, so Rani, you got a couple of more days left, uh, Ran, so... Thank you for letting me on no, today. Can't fight. Choice. So I just reiterating those words that our Portoro Takiwa gave to this new generation. Don't go looking for the blessing. You are the blessing. Um, and so I'll, I'll just maybe give you another minute just to share your marmatanga, um, wananga that you got going on. Oh look, look. If, if uh, on the eighth of November, twenty-four hours of marmatanga, 
Uh, we have 15 different churches coming to our Wainata tent. If you can, if you can understand that, that in the early Maramatanga, uh, all the churches took part in Fakawai Mitia Ratana Park. There was no Ratana church. Ringa two would open. Pray Marere would do lunchtime. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Tony. Oh. Hi, we're back. Oh yes. <laughs> so, um, so in our in our Wainanga Maki, we've got many churches participating, and they're all going to be sharing their Fakaro. And they're all coming because they know Ratana has something. Hey, look, I want to give an apology to Brian Tamaki and Destiny Church. Um, uh, I was going to give them a full session on the 9th, but unfortunately they're unable to attend. And I do apologize for any difficulties there, but um, there may come a day when our new generation looks towards working with them because they have wonderful, they have some wonderful programs. And we've just got to learn to put aside exactly what the dad said, break down the fences that block us from working with each other. Alright. Oh, and I just saw a little message there from one of our our, our young Morehu, Rangatai from Tilmika, Tirohio Tilmika. And she goes, keen for you in next year? Aye, that's us. Kapai. <laughs> so the call's already been answered, Fano. So stay tuned. We'll start leading up closer and closer to the 8th of November and hopefully um, probably on the 7th I'll try and jam pack a whole lot of different interviews with a whole lot of different people and really piece this story together but not later, hope everyone has had an awesome Sunday having Whakamuimiti wherever you had it whether it was at home or at, whaka, at a party hall or wherever um, ko te mea nui, uh, ko te kurori tanga o tono ingoa tapu so, nā mana ki tango i hoa, ki runga i a tātou katoa ko te māngai tōtoka mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai ah.